Hi, my name is Diana Sari. I'm a member of Managed Open Shift Black Belt here at Red Hat. So today we're going to talk about how to deploy Azure Red Hat OpenShift or Arrow cluster using Terraform. So the first question that might come to mind is that why we're doing this, why we're deploying uh, Arrow cluster using Terraform. So one of the reasons might be that you might want to be compliant to your organization's uh, governance in terms of provisioning cluster itself. And thus you can, for example, avoid a uh, creating a rogue cluster by, mista um, by, uh, by mistake. So, um, and then uh, next question might be then, what is Terraform? Now Terraform see, in essence is an infrastructure as a code that helps us with cluster provisioning. And then before we move forward to our deployment, um, we would need some prerequisites. So here we will have our list of prerequisites. First thing you may you need will be the uh, Azure Active subscription. And then you also uh, might need a Red Hat a, um, Active account if you want to do a pull secret. And then you would also might want to use the Aura module or provider. And then um, you would want to have, if you have not already, you would want to have Terraform or here I abbreviated STF installed. Again, this is just some of the prerequisites, your deployment and what I'm going to talk about today, the, uh, just one example of it. The implementations itself or the exact deployment itself may vary. Um, so feel free to modify and customize as you deem fit. So now I'm going to um, explain uh, or describe how or an example of how the deployment could be. We'll start by creating what we call Terraform files or shorenes.tf files. We will start with first is the main file. We'll have it here as main. Call it main.tf. And then this file will have dependencies, right? And we'll start, for example, here with, um, let's call it terraform.tf, for example. And then it will have a variable or farce, we call it. Let's call it variable dot tf and it will also have what we call here iam dot tf and then another one here we will have output dot tf and then here first and foremost we will do terraform dot tf right here we will then specify which provider you would use again this is just an example um, your implementations may vary. We, here we will use the Aural provider and we will also use a um, um, Azure uh, provider or Azure Surface provider. And then for in the variable itself, we, here we will define the name of your cluster and then the location of your cluster and then the tags of your cluster, and then the side ranges, for example, and other things that you want to, def uh, to define in your um, variable files. And so here in main.tf, then you would call this dependencies that you've already specified. And then here you will define your resource group. Here we abbreviated SRG. Also here define your Fnet or virtual network. You also define your subnet. There will be two of them, one for control node and the other one for the worker node. And then you also defined um, your OpenShift cluster specifications here, or let's just uh, call it cluster specs. Um, and then here in the IM.tf, here you will actually create what we call service principle. 
let's just abbreviate it as SB. And also here you will do roles and assignments. Um, here, for example, you want to assign um, uh, uh, your contributor role to the resource um, to the resource group, and then you want to also uh, assign your um, network contributor to your Fnet, right? And then here for the output, for example, you want, again, these ones are optional. You would, for example, uh, have a service principal password. Um, and you might want to have, let's say, um, qbadmin password as well. And the other thing, you may want to uh, have a console and API. Okay, so, and then once this is done, you deploy everything, you have them all ready. And then next step is just you're going to run the uh, Terraform commands. So you could start with uh, TF uh, Terraform init, and then Terraform um, plan, apply, and then deploy. And then, uh, and then that's pretty much it. So, um, and then you connect to your, uh, and then after it is being deployed, and then um, you can connect to your uh, arrow cluster. And so that's everything that I would like to uh, talk today about uh, deploying your arrow cluster on, using Terraform. Thank you again for watching. And if you do have any questions or feel free to visit our site at www.redhat.com. Thank you again.